did you first start being poorly? Yeah, I've been poorly all my life. Um, basically, didn't start getting treatment. I'm acknowledged for some of being up until I was around in my late early twenties. Um, well, from there, it's been a downhill struggle at times. I honestly believed at one point in my life that I needed drugs to live. Now I know that's not true. Um, the benefits are phenomenal for not having any illicit drugs in my system. Yeah. So what is it that you've actually got? What's your illness? I have paranoid schizophrenia, which is basically, in layman's terms, I have trust issues. I see things for what they're not. And it takes me sometimes up to a couple of hours to realise what has actually gone off when I would catastrophise and also it's thinking something else was going off at time. So how did you start to get better? I believe it was five or six years ago. Do you want to tell us about that? It started in Woffwood, Gypsy Green Lane, Mental Hospital, Medium Secure, where I was nurtured, not pushed into, but nurtured into doing CBT, anxiety management, uh, mindfulness and all sorts of other self-monitoring and self-maintaining procedures. And from there, when I, when it started to sink in, it was relevant that they're not out to get you. They are there to help you. It did take a while for it to sink in, but yeah. So you came out of Wathwood and you went to, was it our assertive outreach team? Swallow Nest Court, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's funny Swallow Nest Court. It's like an home from home. It were like an home from home, shall I say. They were really impressed at how well I was doing. My main kick in the, in the moment is health and fitness. Mm. I wake up in the morning, the first thing on my mind, other than get a wash, brush my teeth and get a shave, is get ready for the gym, get my stuff ready for the gym, get my gym kit on. I were drinking a lot of coffee in the morning and it were having no, it were doing me no good. It were all right, well, we're drinking it for a few moments, but it were doing me no good. So I stopped drinking that and I get a lot, a lot more done in gym. So what do you think's helped to make you better? Listening to staff. Without the help of the NHS, I'd probably be dead by now. There, there would have been very little prospect to anything good going on in my life the way I was living. Without the NHS, it'd be hopeless. They are my heroes. I proper appreciate everything about NHS. So if it seems like an uphill struggle, just imagine view from top. It won't be like that forever. Keep your chin on. So you can get through it? Yeah, you can get through it. you just got to listen to it, staff. <laughs>